My name is Kundra Mamoto, working for the Renaissance of Semitism team. It's a great pleasure for me to have a presentation today. Uh, today's my topic is uh, a history of the alpha C framework and it, uh, its generic sound card. How many people are working for the ARSA or framework, driver, leading lighting? Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, today's topic is uh, a history of the uh, framework and uh, genic sound card drivers. And we have three drivers, three genic drivers. Uh, that today is why this genic card is added and how this is added. And to be honest, it, it's three genic cards. Why we have three genic cards? This is a today's topic. It is history. Why this coming in? Things happen. <coughs> so what is ARSA, ARSA SOC? Uh, Linux is now using the ARSA, sound, ARSA system for the sound, and ARSA is uh, embedded in Linux sound architecture. Before, before ARSA, we used uh, OSS, Open Sound System before. I don't explain to you here. Uh, but, uh, uh, the, tree, the original ARSA is assuming this kind of systems. It is uh, one tip or one system uh, which is controlling the ARSA system, uh, sorry, sound system. It's very normal, not special, very easy. But in this day, the hardware becoming the more specific, uh, more, uh, having a more specific features, so we need to create a uh, more complex system like this. In this system, we need to control all, all chips, uh, and this means we need to have uh, uh, many drivers. The handling of this system is as a SOC, a today's topic. And uh, each devices have a, a role, like in here is a CPU chip and a codec chip. And in other words, like here the one is uh, called as like digital data handling, and here one is uh, analog data handling. And we need to control these kind of chips and drivers. And handling this, a total handling is a generic sound card. And the background, I want to explain the background or concept of the ARSA, otherwise it is very difficult to understand the uh, today's topic. In normal ARSA case, I will explain the normal ARSA's uh, behavior. If you play back the sound, and your sound player will call ARSA libraries, and ARSA libraries call the ARSA subsystems through the Linux kernel, and it will select the uh, specified drivers. And this driver called uh, handling the device, and you can play back while capturing the sound. And this, this is very similar, or uh, sorry, uh, this is very common, not special. And this is ARSA normal. Uh, concept. But if you want to use a more complex system like ARSA SOC, you need to, create, you need to use ARSA SOC framework, sub-framework. And from user side point of view, it is nothing changed in ARSA and ARSA SOC, of course. If you play back the ARSA SOC drivers, they have the player called the ARSA libraries, and it is called ARSA through the Linux kernel. Nothing has changed so far. Same as before. Now, to be honest, the RSA SOC framework is, it looks like normal RSA from the RSA point of view, but the inside was different. If it, and the selected RSA SOC driver was selected, it will code each drivers inside. And, and, and it will select like the same command to each drivers, like play, 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 or stop, 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 or something like that. And each driver controls each devices, and you can uh, control all systems in these systems. This is not so super uh, special, not common, but not special. Maybe uh, video side is using a similar system, very I mean. Uh, this card driver. Uh, and using the RSA SOC, you need to create, uh, you need to handling uh, the uh, genetic sound card drivers. 
uh, sorry, the count uh, SOC card drivers and platform and CPU codec drivers. Total four drivers you need to prepare. Now one note is this is almost 10 years ago, not currently, not almost 10 years ago. And the uh, biggest main point is here on die. This is digital uh, audio interface. This is not a common name, the ALSA specific name, not common name. This is the main things, and it is controlling the here, handling this, how to send the digital data, or how to receive the digital data from one or two agent devices. And this is data structure. <coughs> and that, uh, this uh, platform, what does the platform mean? Is this is handling the DMA transfer. And here one is DMA transfer to CPU, uh, uh, CPU to from the memories. In general, uh, the CPU chips is hand also handling the DMA by itself. But some some chip or some system need to a uh, special DMA transfer solution is required for, and this platform is used for such kind of purpose. Uh, and the uh, platform, and as you can see, in the platform and the codec has each own special uh, data structures. I don't know why this kind of, uh, oh, sorry, um, but the uh, CPU doesn't have its own uh, data structure. I don't know why, but maybe, I guess, the super beginning was, the only die was added to the as SOC, and maybe, maybe people added the codec after that, and maybe people are platform, but no one added the CPU data structures. So maybe, I don't know either, but maybe such kind of things happened before. <coughs> no, again, this is no, 10, 10, 10 years ago. Uh, the handling the other SOC, you need to you need to control the four drivers like card, platform, CPU. But how to how to connect and select the drivers is if you can uh, boot the kernels, it is including uh, many drivers. And uh, this is indicating the main uh, such kind of things. Uh, it is in, uh, probing the two codec drivers, two CPU drivers, two platform drivers, for example. If you look at the probe that each driver has, the probe driver is listed into the ALSA SOC framework. And as, as you can see, <coughs> each driver on or each uh, data structure is including its own name like this. DA something something or AK something something. Such kind of naming it, all drivers have. And when you, uh, when you select, uh, select and connect uh, each uh, necessary drivers into the kernels, this is the user is name matching. For example, this case, and this card request this platform. Uh, find it from the uh, listed as SOC, and find it is and connect. And similar thing happen here. Like now this is a, a required CPU name and find it from the other listed one, and connect, and code one. And this kind of thing. Uh, because of this uh, data structures and uh, concept, uh, this layer has uh, created platform. As you can see, that each uh, platform has different style, different codecs are used. But because of that, uh, Necessary driver name is, of course, a different for each uh, platform. In such case, in, in 10 years ago, in such case, we need to create a, uh, each sound card driver for each boot. So this case, yes, so we need to create a three sound card drivers. But what, does, what, does, what is the difference is just that required driver naming only, nothing changes. But we need to create, to create uh, such kind of drivers. So this is waste of the disk or waste of the time. 
make no sense for me. This is the background. So I wanted to uh, create a more common or generic drivers. Uh, so the first time I have created a Lunasus common sound card drivers. And this, and this driver, the driver is required a parameter uh, for each drivers. This can be the parameters. So if we, if we can uh, use this kind of system, now we can share the same drivers but using the different parameters. That makes sense. So I have created this kind of uh, systems and posted the patches to the mailing list, but there are some maintainer, and Mark Brown said, oh, sorry, this is a good idea, but this is not only Runesas issues, it's common issues. So please share it to the more generic part, not only the Runesas. Okay, I can do that. But as you know, uh, I'm a Japanese, not English speakers, native speakers, so I have asked to the Mark, what is a good name? Okay, so how about a simple audio card? It's very simple. Okay, I can do that. That's the reason why this driver is named as a simple audio card. This is a history. Hmm. Name owner is not me, Mark Brown. So I have created this, I'm very happy, and people started to use this because of Janet. And I'm, I was very happy about that, but something happened after that. It's device tree. As you know, Linux requests using the device tree for the, especially for the ARM people. But using the device tree, uh, switch to the device tree style, we need to update the drivers for each drivers. Of course, there's this simple card too. Of course, I created such kind of patch and posted, posted it. It was a very small one patch as the first step, but something happened. Uh, the problem is this kind of data mismatching was a very big issue. As you know, the device tree is uh, indicating the device connections. It is not for the software configurations. But from our society, data structure is uh, this kind of uh, uh, unbalanced connection is used. Because of that, uh, getting the each driver naming from the device to the device connection is, was impossible, was super difficult, mainly impossible. But one uh, RSS was the uh, expert uh, pointing it, uh, and my possible patch was not good for the device uh, device tree design, so we need uh, for uh, we need to solve that the issues. Uh, we, but it is very difficult. Uh, we have uh, discussed this kind of how to solve it. What is uh, required data and how to switch it, how to solve it. Almost, it is almost one year we have discussed on the mailing list. And the final and answer is let's merge it each specific uh, special data structure like codec and proton into the one uh, data structure, new data structure, because all, some uh, feature are duplicated between these two. And let's name it as a component. And let's use this the new component to the uh, CPU, uh, because we are, we are missing it. Yeah. And so, uh, because of this, uh, we have discussed on this, and we uh, created, we merged and Created a switch to the new style, we decided. But, as I sharpen, as you know, if you, may, maybe people don't like that one big patch, like this patch change everything, bam, everything change, everything just, uh, everything is changed. People don't like this, right? So the people labs is the very small change uh, patch set. This is understandable. But if I did it in the, uh, uh, to the framework, the <coughs> RSI source is already used from almost 200 uh, drivers. 
So this means if I uh, use a small patch sets, small changes, one patch, one, uh, one framework patch becoming almost 200 drivers patches, it is not so good. Uh, pitch patch bomb coming to the mailing list. People don't like it. So how to switch to the new style is, uh, we decided is, inside RSI SOC, start to use a new style, but the interface to the drivers is keep the compatibility. Well, nothing changed, but inside we switch it to the new style. And we, merge, we created and merged the new uh, platform and codec into a, a compo new component one by one, and maybe, I don't remember, but maybe 100 or 200 patches required to switch the new style. And if the uh, old framework or new feature, old features are uh, switched to new style inside the other SOC, finally we started, uh, I started, I sent a, a patch to for the, each drivers to switch the new style. Of course, the one, uh, from the one driver's uh, point of view, everything changes in the one patches, but it can't help. But we can keep the uh, very small patch set in the uh, mailing list with the people. So, so now that we can use the, oops, sorry. Now we, we could uh, switch to the uh, new uh, device to on, on the uh, simple card. And the people, I was a bit happy, and the people may be also happy, and people started to use a simple card. But the other issue is coming. So I needed to, to create a new drivers, a new generic card. So what's happened? It is HDMI. As you know, the HDMI, uh, Runesas uh, want to use the HDMI support in the uh, kernel. Now, of course, it is already working, nothing special, uh, no problem, but the problem is, oh, sorry, the HDMI needs, as you know, the video and sound, voice voice sound is required. But uh, what is the problem is that device three. Uh, because the v 2 and the ARSA are using a completely different style for each. Especially video side is already using the overgraph style. This is very new ideas. I don't think, I don't explain in detail about what is the overgraph today, but the basic idea is like this. If we have a system and you can connect to the uh, panel and the, through the, this uh, common uh, connectors. In such cases, of course, you can try the many kind of panels, but how, how to indicate it in the device tree? Uh, in the device, uh, device tree, can, uh, it's possible to use the P handle style, but if we uh, indicating this kind of connection in the P handles, it is very difficult to understand. It is switchable or required, or how to know to switch on the existing uh, P handles. And, uh, and this is uh, mainly the B before two people or B uh, video people side issues. And, uh, so uh, they created a new overgraph style. It is possible to uh, selecting and uh, indicating this kind of system on the device. Tree. Uh, <coughs> and because of the, because the device tree is indicating the device connections, the v, uh, HDMI should use the same style with the uh, RSI SOC uh, device tree should follow the video or v 4 2 side style. This means overgraph. But supporting the overgraph on the simple, using a uh, simple card driver was very difficult or, or impossible. The reason is binary compatibility. Because the uh, overgraph side and original uh, sound 
simple sound card style are completely different. And of course, as I adding such kind of feature on simple card itself is not so super difficult, but it is very difficult to find the compatibility. Uh, to, uh, and uh, creating such kind of com very complex system, uh, complex drivers, it is easy to have a bug inside. So I don't like it. So we, I decided to create a new uh, style of new uh, d uh, driver, new genic driver, yeah. uh, new genic drivers. The creating it is itself is not uh, difficult. The, the difference between the existing simple card and the new drivers is passing a device tree only. After that is everything, uh, nothing changed. So I, uh, I created a shared uh, library, uh, sorry, a shared code as a utility, a simple card utility. And the passing part and the main part are different, uh, separated. And the passing part is a new one. So I have created such kind of new drivers and posted it as a simple graph card. But other issue coming. Uh, it's overgraph maintainer set. No, this is not a good name. I have explained why this is called as a simple audio card is blah, 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 I explained because you already have a, a simple audio card, so I want to follow that similar uh, naming. But uh, overgraph maintainer said no, I don't like it. So how, what is a good name? I asked and he said, oh, how about uh, an autograph card? Okay, I can accept. So this is the reason why it is named as an audiograph card. The name owner is not me, but the autograph maintainer. <coughs> so now that the simple card is supporting the uh, normal platform data style and the device tree style. And the audiograph card is uh, supporting the device tree style, uh, I mean, sorry, uh, overgraph style. Uh, and, uh, as I already explained, but the, the difference is uh, only the passing part only, the device tree passing, uh, passing part only. Now, so everything is very similar, or almost the same. So, so if, you can comp if you compare these two drivers, it is easy to uh, understand what is the difference or what, what is the difference. And, it, and maybe you can understand it is very similar, uh, each drivers are. So this is, I'm happy, I have created, I'm very happy about that. But something other issue happens. So what is that? Is uh, RSA SOC connections. Uh, to be honest, RSA SOC uh, framework is supporting uh, too many uh, device connections. Very complex one is included. This is very normal. It is included uh, normal cell connection that I have already explained. And this, this is already supported in the both existing uh, simple card and audio graph card. This is very common, uh, very basic style. But RSA SOC is supporting more complex one like multi CPU or multi codex. Uh, this uh, picture is indicating is, uh, is now, for example, if we want to play a six channel sound, on some chip, can, it's possible to output three of two channels like this. In this, in this style, you need to use a, a special uh, format in the RSI SOC, but it is not supported on the existing, the existing drivers. It is very difficult. To uh, update it, to to support it on the existing one. Or like this is DPCM. This is uh, in some chips is having the DSP inside, and sometimes it, you can use uh, like mixing, like like two uh, two input mixing and two uh, one output. Or you can uh, switch the output like from here or from here from here. You can switch it by using this DSP. But in, in supporting this, supporting to use this, then you need to use a, a special feature uh, which is called as DPCM. But it, this is not supported in the uh, previous uh, genic card. Here, here is a more complex one. DPCM with a, 
a merge CPU or merge codex. If you want to use a six channels with mixing, you need to use a more complex system. Or like uh, sometimes you know, people want to use a codec uh, uh, inputted uh, sound to the directly connect to the playback side, loopback. And this kind of system is not assumed in the normal RSO system, but is supported. But to use this system, you need to use a very special uh, handling as you required. More complex one is codec to codec with multi system. This is nightmare for me, but someone want to use this. But uh, the RSSOC are supporting this kind of systems, but the existing the, uh, generic card, simple card and audio or graph card, uh, doesn't, doesn't support this complex system. But people want to use the generic card to support it. So I have. Uh, Yes, uh, supporting this with keeping binary compatibility for the device today is very in, uh, difficult or impossible. Or maybe possible, but can be the buggy, and I don't like it, and people don't like it. So I decided to create a new one, new uh, drivers. I have created such kind of drivers, uh, named as Audiograph Card 2 and posted it to the, uh, the mailing list, but the RSISOC maintainer uh, didn't accept it, rejected it. But he mentioned the Harvard to use a, and uh, the reason was the naming. And he said Harvard to use a ditch graph card. That's okay. But the <coughs> uh, RSISOC, uh, some experts claimed it. So does it mean if the known ditch graph card is poor, of course not. So the naming was not so good. And I have explained the, the, the reason why I have added the audiograph card two was uh, because we don't we don't know in the future. Maybe some other feature are added in the future, and maybe it is uh, difficult to keep the compatibility. So in such cases, we need to we shouldn't hesitate to add a new uh, device style. So, so, so because of that, I have added, it is the car, uh, name as some audiograph card two. So this means in the future, if the, the more, uh, more complex hardware coming or a new idea is coming into, into the SOC system, maybe we want to have a, a like card three or card four in the future. I have explained this to the maintainer and the maintainer accept, uh, understand my idea and accepted it. So this is the uh, reason why it is named as audiograph card two. The one of the big problem in the generics card is customizing. Because it is very generic, but some board or some, some platform or some board want to have, a, want to uh, handling the board specific features somehow. But it is implementing in on the generic card is very difficult or impossible. So the audio graph card and graph card two is supporting the customization support, customizing the features. And I had it that it's sample code into the Genex kernel. You can find it. Uh, and you can find it. And uh, this is in, in indicating the sample sample of the customizing. It is easy to use. Uh, normal uh, generic sound card style, and you can add a new your customization features in here. And uh, as, I, as I have <laughs> indicated, the RSISOC is supporting the very complex uh, connections, and uh, card two is supporting it. So this means that device three's style is becoming more complex. So I have added a sample, code, sample device DT uh, settings here. You can, you can see that each image is and how to handle it into this sample code. It is very complex, but uh, better, to, better than nothing. You can use it, please use this. Oh, and of course you can test it. 
uh, without a uh, specific hardware. It, wor it works by using a uh, dummy uh, drivers. And if you don't have uh, any special uh, reasons, by using a simple uh, getting a generic card, like simple uh, audio card or autograph card, is required by the maintainer. Please use it, and it's very useful to, to the people. Uh, thank you for listening. This is uh, my presentation. Thank you. Uh, it's time left. Any question? No? Okay, thank you. Thank you very much.